having a dark patch over your neck or other parts of the body and is your doctor has told it that it is called acanthosis nigricans if yes then how do we treat it how do we manage it how do we diagnose it that's what we are going to discuss in our today's topic namaste my name is dr tanvi mayur patel i am an endocrinologist hormone specialist doctor from mumbai india now before we continue this video one important information if you want to watch this video in hindi language then on the i button and below in the description box there is a link if you click on that link then this video will be played in hindi language for you अगर आप आज के इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स पे एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर टुडेज टॉपिक एंड एक्चुअली टुडेज वीडियो इज अ पार्ट टू ऑफ द अकेंथोसिस नाइग्री कैंसर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्पोक अबाउट वॉट इज अकेंथोसिस वॉट कंडीशन कॉजेज दिस प्रॉब्लम how this condition actually happens and who are at a higher risk of developing this problem in our today's topic i'm going to discuss about the diagnosis and the treatment and if you have acanthosis what can you do so that you can reverse it completely yes reversal is possible we'll discuss that at the end of the video so stay tuned so let's continue that how do we diagnose the acanthosis before actually we jump to the diagnosis it's important for you to know that which specialty doctor you actually need to visit this is a very common question people have in their mind and in fact many of the times they don't even know who are the right doctor to go to because people think that it is a skin problem they land up at the skin doctor or a dermatologist doctor of course dermatologist doctors do help in the management however please understand this health problem is actually not a skin problem this problem is mainly a hormonal problem and that is the reason why it is important that you need to visit to a hormone specialist endocrinologist doctor otherwise no matter whatever treatment you do from a external superficial you will never be happy and satisfied that's the reason why right doctor is very important that's why a endocrinologist i am not saying that the skin doctors are not important yes the help will be needed at what stage that's what we will discuss little later so first of all you visited to a doctor so the moment you go to a doctor when a doctor sees your medical condition they will instantly diagnose it it's actually a condition which you can diagnose by just looking at it we do not need any lot of fancy blood test for that however few blood tests are important so what are the test we usually ask so we ask you to get your insulin level checked we want to check your blood sugar level we might also do a hba1c that's a glycosylated hemoglobin which is actually average of a 3 month blood sugar these are the just a few test what we do again depending on case to case the test number and the types of the test may vary your doctor will also take your detailed medical history and when we take the medical history we want to know about your family history whether you are taking any medications or not or what is your stress level how physically active you are how is your diet so basically we want to know more of your lifestyle that way we will also be able to come to a conclusion what is causing your doctor may also ask you that how fast or how slow is this acanthosis if your doctor feels that the acanthosis is spreading very fast or if the doctor suspect that you might have any type of a cancer in that kind of a condition your doctor might ask you few other test at sometimes we also ask a skin biopsy testing so these are the certain test what your doctor might ask and once the report is ready then is the next stage that is the treatment and treatment is very very important the treatment is always focused on knowing the cause of the problem 
if we see that you are taking any kind of a wrong medications or if you are taking any kind of a medicines which is causing this problem of course we want to uh, want you to change the medication or stop the medicine depending on your medical case if you find that you have other body hormonal problems we will correct that also and if you find that your weight is high if you are overweight or obese in that kind of a situation or losing a weight is a very very important and it is highly recommended of course when we do a blood test we will also know your insulin levels in your blood we will also come to know whether you have insulin resistance or not and if you have insulin resistance in that kind of a situation you might be advised certain medications medications like a metformin which is the most commonly prescribed medicine this medicine is also prescribed if you have a diabetes or if you have pcos this medicine will also work up on your sugar level so metformin medicine can also be advised so if you are taking metformin medicine do watch my other video wherein i have detailed talk about who should take metformin who should not take metformin and what is the right way to take metformin so that you get a complete knowledge about it so this is the medication of course it is a case dependent if you have a pcos then certain other medications may also be advised all right so this is the medical management see understand the root of the problem is the insulin and how it affects the acanthosis i have discussed in the video 1 if you have not watched watch that video you will get a detailed knowledge if you know the root of this problem you will be able to work on it if you don't know the root of it then no matter whatever you do your treatment will never success so the addressing the root is very important and that's why insulin level has to be brought in control and insulin resistance also has to be reduced all right now the next question comes that doctor how long will it take for me to come back to my original skin tone so see you will have to have patience acanthosis did not happen to you overnight it took some months to years similarly patience is very important and when you have patience and you work up in the right direction reversal is possible yes and what are the steps i'll discuss this in a short while so reversal is definitely possible many people think that acanthosis is actually a skin infection answer is no it is not a kind of a skin infection and that's the reason why this is not going to go away by any kind of a creams or lotions many people also think that this acanthosis is actually contagious if someone touches the acanthosis the other person will develop it answer is no acanthosis is a deep seated hormonal problem it is not a skin infection it is not a contagious problem but yes treatment is possible so by the time your internal body is regularizing the insulin hormone many people become impatient and that impatience is also quite understandable because acanthosis happens over your face and the neck area which is visible to plenty many people and people feel very shy and ashamed of it and that's the reason why they want a quick fix so when we talk about the quick fixes at that time a skin doctor and a dermatologist help will be needed because they will be the one who will advise you the treatment accordingly which can work up at a superficial level so by the time your internal body is recovering from the hormonal imbalance superficial treatment will cover up for time being so when we talk about the superficial treatment what is can included in that so first is the creams so these are the creams which help you lightening the dark skin so this skin usually contains either retinoid or a alpha hydroxy acid or a salicylic acid or around 20% of the urea which lightens the skin color if you have any bad smell or a odor coming out then your doctor might advise you any kind of antibiotic if there's a lot of itching the doctor will give you any kind of a itching tablets and if you feel that your skin is very thick and a coarse then in that kind of a situation certain types of a lasers is also advised but again understand that these are a temporary fixes 
Many times what happens, a patient goes to a skin doctor, does all the fancy treatment and then after they don't correct their lifestyle and the problem comes back again. And these are the same people who are not satisfied with those doctors and they bad mouth about it. That so and so doctor didn't help me. The problem is not with the doctor, the problem is with your lifestyle which you didn't focus which is the actually the root cause and that is the reason why addressing the root is the most important thing. Right? What if you don't treat acanthosis? What will happen? Well, well, if you don't treat this problem, it will progress. And as it will progress, not only externally the area will look dirty and bad, but internally your hormones are at a big disturbance. And that will lead you into a lot of hormonal problem. And the one such is a type 2 diabetes which can happen to anybody or a PCOS which happens to the women. These are the just a few complications. Besides that, yes, a whole lot of metabolic syndrome can also happen. So treating the acanthosis is very, very important. Okay. Now let's talk about the reversal of acanthosis. First question, is reversal possible? Answer is yes, it is very much possible. However, reversal is going to take time, patience is needed. So when you are working on the reversal, you need to work upon more of your holistic life. So what we have mean by holistic life? First of all, watch out on what you are eating. Avoid any kind of a sugary processed food. Avoid any kind of a white sugars, okay? Or any type of cold drinks, any food which comes in the packets, try to avoid it. Secondly, make sure that you are physically active. You do regular physical exercise and maintain your body weight in the right direction. Also, check that if you have any other hormonal problem and if yes, correct it accordingly. Take the right kind of a medication. Work upon your stress because stress also leads you into a lot of stress hormone disturbance and that can also lead you acanthosis indirectly. So, reduce your stress. For the stress management, you can follow certain tips. You will find the video link at the top. And you work up on your sleep. Make sure that you have 6 to 8 hours of a nighttime sleep. Drink proper amount of water. These are the holistic methods. If you follow, I'm sure acanthosis will go away in no time. All right. I hope after watching this video, you got some good useful information. If yes, please click on the like button. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related information. And if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for, write your question in the comment box below. I try to read and answer them as early as I can. We will meet again with some new good useful information. Till then take care of yourself. Namaste.